Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to disable thumbs.db files in Windows 7. Now the first method takes longer to complete, although it is compatible with all versions of Windows, including Home Basic. And the second method is only compatible with Windows Enterprise, Ultimate and Business. I've included the second method because it is a lot quicker to complete. So let's get to it. Now the first thing you want to do is go to your Start menu. Now in your start menu, you should type reg edit, the word reg edit, and click here to open the program. Now this may seem a bit intimidating, but it is a very easy program to use as long as you know where you're going. Now to expand these folders, you click the little arrow on the side. Now the folder we're looking at is hkey current user. We want to go to the software directory. You can have a double click on it or click the arrow. I like to double click. And you want to go to Policies, Microsoft, and Windows. Now in Windows, you need to right click on the actual word and click New. And you want to choose the key. For the key, you should put in Explorer. If it is already there, do not create it again. Just actually open it. So now we need to type in the key we're going to use. So you want to right click in the white space or you can use the edit. Yes, edit, edit and key and, and choose the D word 32 bit value. Now you have a new value. It's ready to enter a name. So this name is going to be quite large and it is case sensitive. So the, the number of uppercase letters and lowercase letters and the order of them does matter. So you might want to pause the video once I've typed it in. So here we go. Disable thumbs db on network folders. Now I'll hold there for a second so you can actually view it. Might You might want to pause the video again. Okay. Now, now that you've made that D word value, you need to set a value for it. So if you double click on it, and choose the decimal option and put in a value of 1 which is true of course in uh, computing and click OK. Now if you close your registry editor and restart your computer thumbs.db files will no longer be generated although files that are already there will still be there so you have to remove them using you know Windows search and delete. Now I'm going to show you the second method because this current version of Windows I'm using is ultimate. So for the second method you go to the start menu, you type gp edit and dot msc and it should give you a program called gp edit. Now just let me mention again that in Windows um, pre home premium basic and the lower versions of Windows you do not have this program so you cannot use this method so let's carry on you open the program and wait two hours for it to load <laughs> apparently now you want to look at the user configuration and administrative templates you choose that you go to Windows components you scroll down to where it says Windows Explorer. Now just click on Windows Explorer and let me expand this window. And there's a policy that says turn off the caching of thumbnails in hidden thumbs.db files. And this is what you want. Now don't forget this local group policy editor is just a glorified registry editor um, similar to what we were using before. So if you right click on this and click edit There we go. And what you want to do is not disable it because you want to turn it off. So you want to enable it. So if you enable it, apply it, and close it. And when you restart your computer, it will have the same effect as using the registry method. So I hope that sorts out your problem. And just to explain at the end what actually is your problem with forms.db files is they are only generated when viewing network shares. So if you have a mapped drive or you're viewing like computers on your home network, so, like so, 
when you view media like videos, um, audio, and pictures, fums.db files are generated. So that's all I have to tell you, really. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped. Um, if you would click the like button, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.